you will hear a lot of people tell you do this do that i have revised 10 times 15 times when your neat exam is over talk to these people and ask them are you getting selected they will say no why because they unnecessarily hurried things up they did not understand they thought they have finished the chapters they had actually not finished the chapters it was only in their mind and they got the root shock of their life in neat exam don't get into the fomo i'm again telling you don't get into the fomo figure out through your head when is the best time to finish the syllabus there is no hurry the only thing i will request is while finishing the syllabus keep writing mock tests and before mock test make sure you revise and after mock test make sure you give time to fix your weak areas that way you can easily do it this way keep finishing the syllabus keep revising you won't forget anything else you don't have to finish it early by december so that you are ready by may that is not a good way to do it a lot of people who start preparing for NEET after the NEET exam as a dropper they just can't finish their syllabus by december and they should not worry about it good afternoon students you must be seeing a lot of videos where they tell you that you have to revise again and again and again and again. That means you have to finish the syllabus as early as possible. I received a message from a student asking me, Sir, I don't know what to do. My coaching syllabus is going to finish by middle of March. I want to finish it by December because my brother is saying finish it faster so that you can do multiple revisions. I want to answer this question in this video. I also want to answer the question, how do you finish syllabus faster? one shots just practicing mcqs or skipping some chapters you would come across pdfs which tell you these chapters have a lot of weightage these chapters do not have weightage so you can conclude from them that might as well skip some chapters which do not have a lot of questions coming in recent years for example waves in physics right so i'm going to answer these questions in this video first thing in my mind one shot is a bad idea what happens is they are trying to concise everything let's say in one hour one and a half hour two hours when the thing requires for you to understand seven eight ten hours and the thing is this is just theory right a lot of people actually what they do is they watch the one shot video just like they are watching a movie they also assume that when the teacher was solving some questions they have understood how to solve the questions so they don't do any mcqs also this is just horrible guys absolutely horrible you're not going to get a single question right by doing this i will tell you another way you can do it better but please don't do it remaining two let me explain to you so first of all look at it like this if you want to finish the syllabus faster one way to look at it is look at this side beyond this line the normal way of studying is you do theory and then you do mcq practice i've told you physics chemistry chapter 150 mcqs per chapter and let's say biology average 200 questions per chapter correct now the thing is if you know some chapter very well you are very confident that whenever questions come you are able to do it you wrote neat exam you got all the questions right from that chapter for whatever reason you have the confidence in any particular chapter what you can do is you can flip it flip it means take any chapter do mcq practice first if you get above 90 percent right avoid theory time of this chapter so this time you are able to avoid but i would say read ncrt right but if you get less than 70 percent correct then you have the confidence in the chapter but actually you don't know it well so you do the full thing do theory then mcq practice but this way for example students who have been getting above 500 550 marks in their last neat exam they might know a lot of chapters very well they don't need to do the full thing of theory mcq practice right in fact what i would recommend is for these kind of students recorded lectures might be better compared to live classes right to finish things faster because the one problem which is there in live classes is they go in a sequence and they go typically in a chapter sequence living world biological classification plant kingdom morphology of flowering plants anatomy of flowering plants like this you want to study anatomy of flowering plants because you know all the other chapters recorded lectures might help this might be the way for you to save time rather than this way this is horrible just practicing mcq this is also not good you have to practice mcqs 
only for those chapters where you feel comfortable then you can skip theory and if you get 90% right when you practice MCQs then you don't need to do theory at all but if you get 70% right that means you don't know the chapter you have to go through theory otherwise you will keep getting questions wrong when you practice MCQs and third thing is skipping the chapters is not an option this is the only way you can do the syllabus faster now let's come to the first question by when should uh, you finish the syllabus for NEET 2025 the answer to this question is now let's come to the next question by when should you finish syllabus for NEET 2025 the answer to this question I've tried to explain here you should finish it when you feel comfortable you should not take inputs from a lot of topper videos that you will see you have to decide based on your own comfort so let me explain to you in my mind even if you go up to February end that is okay but what you need to do is while you are finishing the syllabus 7 to 8 hours daily give at least 2 hours daily for revision revision is for things that you have already studied let's say a mock test is coming up so your vital mock tests are starting uh, this week right so these are the mock test days, these starts are uh, starts of mock test days from January onwards it would become pretty much uh, once every week. So what you do is, let's say today you are there, today we are on Thursday, Sunday there is a test. So you are going to spend time, let's say two hours each, for, or let's say one hour for the mock, uh, mock test that is coming up and one hour for the week areas that you will identify one hours for the week areas that you will identify after you are going to start writing mock tests this way what you can do is while your syllabus completion is going on this is your syllabus completion your revision is also going to happen simultaneously it need not happen this way that you will finish the syllabus first and then you will do a revision syllabus completion syllabus completion and then revision I'm saying no what you need to do is syllabus completion and revision let's say even if you do by fair bend and this is your fourth May neat exam this is what I would recommend not this if you do this you will be putting yourself in unnecessary pressure it is not required you will hear a lot of people tell you do this do that i have revised 10 times 15 times when your neat exam is over talk to these people and ask them are you getting selected they will say no why because they unnecessarily hurried things up they did not understand they thought they have finished the chapters they had actually not finished the chapters it was only in their mind and they got the root shock of their life in neat exam don't get into the FOMO I am again telling you don't get into the FOMO figure out through your head when is the best time to finish the syllabus there is no hurry the only thing I will request is while finishing the syllabus keep writing mock tests and before mock tests make sure you revise and after mock tests make sure you give time to fix your weak areas that way you can easily do it this way keep finishing the syllabus keep revising you won't forget anything else you don't have to finish it early by December so that you are ready by May that is not a good way to do it a lot of people who start preparing for NEET after the NEET exam as a dropper they just can't finish their syllabus by December and they should not worry about it for that matter anyone should not worry about when other people finish their syllabus they should worry about when they can finish it practically without compromising the scope 81 chapters theory and MCQ practice for each of the chapter not compromising on writing mock tests regularly and you will be fine guys so hopefully guys I have been able to explain to you the answer to this question by when you should finish the syllabus for NEET 2025 it is okay if you finish it by February end or even middle March and other thing that I have explained to you how to finish chapters faster this is a better way to finish chapters faster rather than these three methods in my mind these three methods do not work I do want to remind one more thing compared to live classes recorded lectures wherever you are getting them might be better for you to decide your own sequence if you have already studied a lot of stuff hopefully 
you got what I'm trying to explain in this video. If you have any other question, please ask me in the comment section. All right, students.